Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Wavelink Wi-Fi 7 BE6500 USB 3.0 adapter. So this is provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this supports 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. It uses USB 3.0, built-in driver, multicolor LED indicator. Here we have some more features on the back. You can pause and read through those. This is for Windows 10 or 11 or later, so let's get this open. It's a cool presentation there. Pull that out. Here we have the cable. It's a USB-A to USB-C cable. Length on that is around 40 inches or 1 meter. Pull this up. Here we have some compliance information, and we have the quick start guide. So I'm not going to cover everything in here. You want to read through it on your own. This talks about the LED indicator. It says long press the LED switch for two seconds, turn the LED indicator on or off, short press to switch to color. So you connect it to your computer with the USB cable. It looks like it will mount a virtual CD drive with the driver on it, and yeah, that looks pretty straightforward. So here's the adapter. It has these antennas on it that we can fold up. On the bottom we have rubberized feet, so we can plug into the USB-C here. So I'm going to plug this into my computer. Now the computer I'm using is this HP Z230 workstation. This is an older PC. I think at the time I'm recording this in 2025, this is probably about 10 years old maybe. But this does have USB 3.0, so it has this SS next to the USB, so that's super speed. So you want to plug it into a USB 3.0 or a super speed port. So I have one here, and I have a couple on the back that are labeled the same as this. I'm going to plug it in the back because that makes more sense. So the top of the PC seems like a good place to put this. Okay, so this computer has Windows 11. So when it popped up, it popped up a message saying there was a CD inserted. So I'm going to go to the File Explorer, and I'll go to the CD Drive E. And here we have two files. I'm going to run the one that's an application. And I'll go through the install. Looks like that might be it. I'll go to the device manager, and to get there, just go to your search and start typing device manager. I'll go to network adapters, and here we have the Wi-Fi 7 adapter. So now I can connect to the Wi-Fi access point. But first I'm going to restart. I don't know if it's required, but it seems like a good idea. Okay, so I'm restarted. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi access point. So to do that, you want to go to your little icon, in your tray, or you can go to your system preferences. Now I'm going to open up a speed test. So this is a speed test hosted on my network. So the access point this is connected to is an ingenious ECW520. It's connected to the speed test server with 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So let's run this test. So here we're getting around 1600 megabits per second down and 1600 megabits per second up. Now the speed from this can vary depending on network conditions, hardware, there are lots of variables involved. But here we're getting over one and a half times the speed of the gigabit ethernet that's built into this machine. So those are very respectable results. So this is on a six gigahertz network. Let's try a five gigahertz because a lot of people are still on five gigahertz. So I'll run this. So on five gigahertz, we got 885 down and 834 up. So not quite gigabit speeds, but pretty close. Now let's say you're on the old 2.4 gigahertz. Let's try that. So on 2.4 gigahertz, we got about 170 down and 70 up. Now that's obviously not as fast as the 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz, but 2.5 gigahertz has better penetration, and this would be enough speed to stream even 4K HD content. But if you can, it's best to connect to 5 or 6 if you want the maximum speed. Now this also has the light here. Oh, and there's a pull-off strip. Let me get that. So let's press it. So we can change the color on here. So it kind of pulses in whatever color we choose. And then we can hold it down to shut it off completely. So if you don't want light, you can shut it off. Let's shut it off. And I'll unplug it. And we'll plug it back in. It does look like the light did come on by default. 
So that's the Wavelink Wi-Fi 7 BE6500 USB 3.0 adapter. If you have some legacy hardware like this computer, I think a Wi-Fi adapter like this is a great way to add the fastest Wi-Fi to older systems. This is versatile. You can use this on desktop and laptop computers. It's USB 3.0, so you're not going to be hindered by USB 2.0 speeds, and it gives you better performance than gigabit Ethernet. I found this easy to use, has the built-in driver, so you don't have to go searching for it. This is especially nice if a computer doesn't have Ethernet, so you don't have an easy way to get drivers onto the computer. It's built right into the adapter. Once you install that driver, you just connect up to your Wi-Fi and you're good to go. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.